Very few traders or investors know how to use volume to increase their profits and minimize risk. And this is very strange because volume is a very powerful tool, but is often overlooked. Also, volume information can be found on any trading platform, but strangely, very few investors know how to use this information to maximize profits. Volume is not a precise entry and exit tool. However, with the help of some volume indicators, you can generate decent entry and exit signals by combining them with price action and other tools. So, today we'll talk about volume indicators, you'll learn why they are such a useful tool and you'll discover what are the best volume indicators to incorporate in your market analysis. Before we continue, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications and leave a like to show your support. Volume indicators are mathematical formulas that are visually represented in almost all trading platforms. Each indicator uses a slightly different formula and therefore you should find the indicator that works best for your particular market approach. Volume indicators are not 100% required but they can help you a lot in your trading decision process. There are many volume indicators and let's discuss briefly about the most important ones. The first indicator, the average volume. The most basic of all volume indicators is the average one and the calculation most commonly used for the stock market is 50 days, although it may be reasonable to use the same period as the price average that is being used on your charts. Then if you are tracking the 200 day moving average for example, a 200 day average of the volume would make sense. Anything less than 50 days is not likely to be smooth if you are tracking the stock market. Another useful indicator not known by many traders is the volume momentum. The volume momentum indicator treats volume as it would be price. For momentum, this means finding the change in volume over a specific time interval. Volume momentum basically measures the size of the volume change relative to the starting value. This indicator sorts the volume based on negative or positive closes. This indicator works in all time frames, but is quite strong in the smaller ones to notice buying or selling power taking place. Force index is another great volume indicator and represents the change in price multiplied by the daily volume. The force index is an oscillator that measures the force or the power of bulls behind particular market rallies and of bears behind every decline. The force index indicator will be positive or negative if the price change was higher or lower. The three key components of the force index are the direction of the price change, the extent of the price change and the trading volume. A higher market will result in a positive force index plotted above the center line. A lower market points to a negative force index below the center line. An unchanged market will return a force index directly on the zero line. When a force index is used in conjunction with a moving average, the resulting figure can accurately measure significant changes in the power of bulls and bears. For timing entries and exits, a two-day exponential moving average is recommended to avoid unnecessary noise in the indicator. For longer-term analysis, a 13-day exponential moving average could be used. Volume oscillator is another useful tool. The volume oscillator consists of two moving averages of volume, one fast and one slow, the fast volume moving average being subtracted from the slow moving average. An increase or decrease in price followed by an increase in volume may be considered a sign of strength in the prevailing trend. Therefore, when the fast volume moving average, the default 14 period, is above the slow volume moving average, the default 34 period, the volume oscillator is above the zero line and may be confirming price direction whether it be up or down. An increase or decrease in price followed by a decrease in volume may be considered a sign of weakness in the prevailing trend. Therefore, when the fast volume moving average is below the slow moving average, the volume oscillator is below the zero line 
and maybe warning that the price direction is lacking strength and conviction. The next indicator is a familiar one because I mentioned it in my past videos and that's the on balance volume. On balance volume combines price and volume in an attempt to determine whether price movements are strong or are weak and lacking conviction. The on balance volume has a simple calculation. On an up day, the volume is added to the previous day OBV. On a down day, the volume is subtracted from the previous day OBV. Increasing or decreasing price followed by increasing volume suggests a confirmation of the price trend. Increasing or decreasing price followed by decreasing volume suggests that the price movement is weak and lacking conviction. The next indicator is the money flow index. The money flow index is a momentum oscillator that measures the strength of money flowing in and out of a security or a stock. The money flow index is related to the relative strength index but with a twist. While RSI only incorporates prices, the money flow index also incorporates the volume. As the money flow index is quite similar to the RSI, this indicator can be used in a similar way. When the MFI is above 90, the price is considered overbought and the reversal or pullback could be on a cart. When the MFI is below 10, the price is considered oversold and a reversal or pullback might occur on the market. Since the money flow index uses volume in its calculation, this indicator can be effective as a divergence indicator. If prices rise but the volume on the up days is less than the volume recorded on the down days, then money is secretly pouring out of the stock and this is called a bearish divergence. And similarly, when prices fall but the volume on the down days is less than the volume on the up days, then money is flowing back into the stock and that's a bullish divergence. Accumulation and distribution indicator is next. If you watched my pivot point strategy, you already know a few things about it. The AD line compares the strength of the close compared to the open divided by the trading range. It is also called money flow in some references. The accumulation and distribution uses volume to confirm price trends or warn of weak movements that could result in price reversals. Volume is considered to be accumulated when the day's close is higher than the previous day closing price, thus the term accumulation day. Volume is distributed when the day's close is lower than the previous day closing price. This is also known as a distribution day. The main use of the AD line is to detect divergences between the price movement and volume movement. Another indicator is the price volume trend. This indicator combines percentage price change and volume in an attempt to confirm the strength of price trends or true divergences to warn of weak price movements. Unlike other price volume indicators, the price volume trend takes into consideration the percentage increase or decrease in price rather than just simply adding or subtracting volume based on whether the current price is higher than the previous day's price. Chaikin money flow is another volume indicator which determines if an instrument is under accumulation or distribution. The Chaikin money flow compares the closing price to the high-low range of the trading session. This indicator measures buying and selling pressure over a set period of time. If the stock's price closes near the high of the session with increased volume, the Chaikin money flow increases in value. If the stock's price closes near the low of the session with increased volume, this indicator decreases in value. Other useful indicators are the volume weighted moving average, the volume weighted average price, and the volume weighted MACD but these indicators will be discussed in future videos. As always, if you got value from this video or learned something new, 
Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications so you don't miss future uploads and leave us a like to show your support. Until next time.